Saint Germain, Recreating a New Earth Based on Love and Harmony, March 22, 2017. Channeled by Sherry Francis. Today's topic will be about love. Love of God and love of the sinners is the same. It is all love. All roads lead to one path, the divine. The divine embodiment of ourselves in its purest form is ever most viable when we are at our wit's end, and are taking the most of anything that life has to offer. Of course, this is inherently wrong as there must be balance with all things however, it is wise in the face of what limited time we have on earth to procure the knowledge and wisdom when there is no other recourse to gain such insights and virtues as there is to play the demon and the villain. Alas it is with all of us that we have been one or all of these disembodied, discarnate spirits prowling the earth in search of our next disaster. Human or not, we have all been in future and past lifetimes. As time does not exist you see, the villain and the baddie, in timelines of horror when one looks back, or forward, from original, fresh perspectives. Yes, you see, honor is a timeline in itself. It is one that must be earned through triviality and displeasures over consequence after consequence of misfitting, ill-fitting behavior that is not for anyone to revere. Herein lies weakness. Herein lies scandal. Herein lies self-forgiveness. Ah, self-forgiveness. The virtue of every new man who is ready to bear penance and once again gaze upon himself wholeheartedly in a mirror at his reflection, of who he truly is at heart a newborn babe, in the arms of God and the heavenly hosts reminding him there is no penance due. Only love. Only love abounds for he is perfect. He is human. Human, is perfect. In all flaws with all setbacks and drawbacks of progress all is well. Man is far too hard on himself. Too rigid, too restricted. The ego is at play and fundamentally it is flawed, but how can this be? It is natural, it is divine simplicity in its working volumes of knowledge and experience for our prime creator slash God source slash the all-knowing. So therefore I ask you, how can it be flawed? All is in God's plan for us. For you. For me. For I am too part of God's wondrous master plan. We dwell in separate areas, of life, but yet we are together as one, sharing defining, recreating a new earth based on love and harmony, how can this be separate? Together we are one. Near or far upon each other we can depend upon God's goodwill and grace upon us that all we endure is for him, her. For the divine aspect is not feminine. It is not masculine it is both intertwined so intrinsically the two cannot be separated or individually defined in truth and, reality, if there is such a thing. For now let us rest with these thoughts that all of the tempestuous emotions of men, guilt, rage, shame, temper, is all but a mystery and pales in comparison to the bearing it weighs on the benefit, the sheer purpose of us providing our God source with the information is. Yes. He so desires and in doing so has led us out of darkness and obscurity, and abstract indifference, into knowledge, a wealth of knowledge and placed us onto paths whereby we may be led back to our original creator to share throne with him, her among the higher realms ever ready to take forth the growing expansion of the universe and bring all home again, forever and ever. Amen. I love you all dearly. Your brother. Saint Germain